everybody, I'm Shelby Rollins and this is your free vocal tip of the week. Today we're talking about singing high with power and not having to be in your head voice. Everybody wants to be able to sing the high notes, the money notes, the notes that people stand up and cheer for in a big, loud, powerful way, but without destroying your vocal cords. And that's tough, but it's, it's called a mix, and that's what we talk about here, is, is learning how to mix those two voices together. And you can easily sing high without having to be in your head voice, which people can sometimes consider being the weaker part of your voice, the softer, the prettier stuff. But what I wanna tell you is don't neglect your head voice. In fact, use it to your advantage. You wanna use your head voice to help you find the mix and find the power that you're looking for. For instance, if you can find that clear, tiny head voice that's very pure, it's not a falsetto, breathy, kind of a <sighs> kind of a thing, it's a clear head voice that's unrestrained, Ooh, something that's got substance to it, you can actually use that to kind of give yourself a springboard for getting into your mix. It's kind of like, like traction for your vocal cords. It gives you something to grip onto so that you can actually apply the power and turn up the volume. For instance, if I was going to try to find some power up in a higher range, for me, you know, a high note being a high D. Um, this is clearly something that I would normally sing in my head voice. This isn't something I would personally ever attempt to belt in a heavy chest sound. So I'm, I'm in my head voice range, but I want to sing it with power. What should I do? I'm going to try to actually start with something in a head voice because I want to start light and right, and that's always important. If I can start in a real light, soft, pure head voice, it gives me something to hold on to because my chords are actually connected already. So it would sound like this. And there you go. Big, big, loud sound. I started in my head voice, but I found it because I was using my chords the right way. Now, once you've built that into your voice, you won't have to start with a head voice because honestly, a song's never going to afford you that luxury of starting in a really tiny, tiny sound and then exploding into it. You gotta hit it hard from the top. But you're training your chords with muscle memory to, to feel the connection and then grow from there.